The next subdivision of uh, division tracheophyta is Teropsida. Teropsida is actually subdivided into three classes. Number one is class Felicini, number two is class Gymnospermy, and number third is class Angiospermy. We will now focus on class Felicini. Actually, these are ferns and they are seedless plants with foliar sporangia. Uh, you can see here that in the leaves ke underside pe they bear sporangia. And when the leaves are in young form, uh, they, they are coiled at the tips and uh, these tips are called as uh, fiddle heads. Uh, you can see here and this type of development is called circinate vernation. You can see the circinate vernation here. And if we see the plant body, uh, it has got sporangia on the underside of leaf as we have discussed earlier and uh, you can see here this is the underside of the leaf and it bears sporangia or sporangia ke upar se ek uh, flap type sa aata hai aur is flap ko ya leaf type overlapping cheez ko hum indusium kehte hain it's actually covering of sporangia and uh, if we see the plant body uh, diagram here uh, you can see that there th this is uh, rhizium and uh, it has got stem which is reduced and is underground and uh, this portion or th is called as a stipe and uh, it has uh, this whole structure uh, which is called as a uh, uh, lamina and uh, if we take from stipe to lamina it is called as frond this leaf is actually frond so if we bear this stalk se, jo stalk bear karti hai, inko leaflets which we call pinny so, we will say Rekus. So, if we flip this figure, we will flip around this figure. So, we will underside this figure. And on the underside, as we have discussed earlier, there is a sporangia. And the group of sporangia is sorae. And if we talk singly, it is a sorus. So, when we take a sorus, it has so many sporangia in it. And as we have talked about the sporangia, it is an endusium to protect. Uh, uh, half cover way way hai. so inside this uh, sporangia we uh, this single sporangia we have so many spores so this is the structure of uh, or the plant of a uh, plant body and about their habitat they are mostly shade and moisture loving but they can also grow in dry conditions uh, they can grow in hills and plains and uh, some of the species are epiphytic too and they grow on the bark of trees one of the important example of ferns is Adiantum and Adiantum is also called as maiden hair fern. It is called maiden hair fern because its rachis uh, is uh, black, smooth and shiny as you can uh, see here. The stalk or the rachis and the rachis is uh, black, silky and shiny and smooth and it has gametophyte body which is uh, reduced. Uh, but it and small but it is uh, independent and uh, it can uh, autotroph or it can photosynthesize its own food and uh, you can see here that the young uh, fern is growing uh, out of its uh, sporophyte generation this is sporophyte and uh, the young spor uh, this is actually the gametophyte the sporophyte is growing out of this gametophyte like this and uh, if we take this sporangia uh, or single sporangia it has complex structure we will be discussing its structure here uh, you can see here that its outer wall which is also called as capsular wall it consists of the portion which is called as annulus and uh, another portion which is called as stomium and inside of this wall there are spores and it is born on stalk the, the sporangia is born on stalk actually and inside there are so many spores. So when we have uh, dry conditions, the annulus jo hai contract karta hai, aur iski wajah se jo stomium hai, wo break kar jata hai. Or due to the breakage of stomium, uh, ye spores release hote hain, aur jab inhe uh, favorable conditions milti hain, to ye uh, gametophyte mein convert ho jaye. Uh, you can uh, see or visualize the whole uh, life cycle of fern uh, with aid of this diagram. Uh, you can see here. As we have discussed, that just as these spores break, or spore break out from sporangium, 
they germinate to form gametophyte generation which is also called as a prothallus it is heart shaped structure you can see here and it has uh, rhizoids on underside of it and um, we can see that uh, on top notch there are anthidium and on uh, on the lower surface towards uh, rhizoids we have anthidium so ye jo hai wo monoecious hai kisme male and female jo hai wo same uh, structure pe bond ho rahe hain aur ek saath saath hai and uh, on um, favorable conditions or on onset of uh, fertilization uh, the sperm will uh, fuse with egg and uh, following fertilization it will form a zygote and then zygote will uh, grow into young sporophyte body as you can see here it has the young sporophyte body has a frond and a frond consists of um, a pinna and uh, on the under side of pinna we have a sorus or a sorus ko agar hum dekhe to it has uh, firstly indusium flap like structure and inside indusium it has sporangium and agar hum single sporangium ko uh, dekhenge to uh, it it undergoes meiosis or meiosis ke result mein bahut sare हेप्लॉइड नंबर ऑफ स्पोर्स प्रोड्यूस होते हैं सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट क्लास फिलिसिनी